totally not first, <laughs> but meh. I mean, it's all good, Wolf. And I mean, you own up to it. You own up to it. Thank you for the redemption. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream, Game Boy 2222. Thank you again for the lurk. I appreciate it. We're going to be jumping into a description, which I've realized is not the best to stream like once or twice a week because I make like very little progression because like the amount of like, what's what I'm looking for? Like the amount of consistency with our build kind of goes down the road because I don't remember like what we're looking into, right? So, but it is what it is. Let's just jump into it. Uh, we made quite a bit of progress from our previous run, I suppose. We're like just about to fight the second boss. So let's just jump into it. Wolf, and thank you for the middle attacks. I appreciate it. All right, let's go into it. All right, so let's see, we got the smoke. You beheld an immense man slouched by a, sm a by a side of mucky pond. He appeared to be tearing hunks of flesh from a fish corpse. Some chunks were thrown back into the pond where a few ghoulish birds snapped them up and where some sloppily pushed the huckling mouths around them. God, this game looks so interesting, I love it. You bring fresh fish, easy choice. What does he got, what does he got? So, I mean, we have lucky, I mean, he's actually not a bad lucky draw. Uh, this is a 1-1, one, one. okay, that's not too bad. Waterborne, and a card bearing the sigil submerge itself during its opponent's turn while submerge attacks. Okay, that's not too bad, it could be worse, you know. Uh, so we have Magpie, which, which is actually pretty good because it allows us to search whatever we want. We also have Pack Rat, we have, how many items do we actually have? Hope we're doing well, Wolf and Fox, what are you up to today? We could drop. I kind of want to tutor. Tutoring sounds pretty gnarly, actually. Uh, so, do we do it? Do we tutor? I mean, the backpack also gives you, uh, bearing a random item gives you a random. I mean, we don't have a full backpack, so actually, pack rat's not too bad. We could save uh, Magpie for a different turn. So, we're going to go with that because I do want the item. So, we're going to do that. Ooh, we got a squirrel. That's actually pretty good. That is actually pretty good indeed. All right, let's go for an attack. All right, so they're gonna hit us for one, which is you know whatever. All right, so all still hard choice. Oh yeah, I forgot his like little mechanic. It's been way too long. So I think he goes after the card we play last. So I think I kind of want to go for a squirrel. We don't have a. We actually have quite a bit of bones actually. So we're gonna drop the squirrel, and he'll become like the new baits. We can then sack. Okay, interesting. We could... Uh, I mean, Magpie is a 1-1, which is kind of fine, but it's not like that good, good. So I suppose we could... We can hit for 3, which isn't too bad. Not much, just we can mind all the Locust creation deck. Right on, dude. And he, uh, is it because, like, the new stuff that has come out, or has it just been way too long since uh, you made any changes to it? I know a lot of cool stuff has been coming out recently, if not... He doesn't have any special abilities. No, he does not. He just has some pretty decent health. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna go for the score. Or we're just gonna attack with this and have the score be like made for it. So that puts it at sort of be taking two. So it puts us back where we were before. Lack of flying and reaching drew a card. Fair enough. I mean, sometimes like it's just how the game goes, right? Sometimes it's just something that we realize we just had like, you know, kind of go around it. Uh, I've kind of noticed at that point as well with my goblins because like, Goblins are great, like, let's just be real. Goblins are so good, but, um, I realized at one point, like, they had no protection from, like, board wipes, so I had to, like, throw in some something like, invincible. And honestly, it works out pretty good. This is actually a pretty solid card, but I don't have a way to summon it just yet. Um, I guess we're just gonna hit for two at this point. I've actually been need to go back into my magic stuff to, like, kind of, like, do some changes as well. He's going after the pack card. I don't like that, actually. We're gonna go for... We'll go for the squirrel. You can use the squirrel in the jar. Yo, welcome, Ramen. It's good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. I was thinking of using the squirrel just to bait out the hook. So I actually might do that with the next turn. But I'll be doing well, Ramen. So we're going to drop the squirrel. Fresh juice. No, that's not going to be happening. We're going to sack the squirrel. I am good. Glad to hear it. Do you have any good news these days? Or is it still just taking day by day? So he's going to become the new target. But 2-3, which is great. Uh, we're going to use the other squirrel we have here to bait it out. So drop the squirrel in front of the other squirrel. Thank you for the shout out, Wolfen. I appreciate you. Big meaty hook time. Dustin, welcome, dude. It's good to see you. But we get, he's going after the squirrel, so we good. We good, baby. We good, man. 
This should take him out for the first phase. So that's good. <clears throat> Go fish. Oh. Oh, yeah. Like, these are... The bait bucket's not fun. It's definitely, definitely not fun. Uh, let's see. So we have magpie. Magpie is actually amazing right now because we could draw into anything. Uh, so we could sack squirrel. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's actually not too good. I mean, it's fine. It just costs way too much. So we're going to sack these two to drop this card. And then we're going to draw great card. Great card is a great card indeed. Shiny indeed. Uh, we're gonna sacrifice Magpie to summon the great card, because it's just such a great card. It's a one drop with seven seven flying, and it, it, it's so good. It's so good. Um, pass turn with the W, I think, right? Yeah, with the W. <laughs> OTK at its finest. He is mad. I uh, hope you guys are doing well tonight. Reignite. <clears throat> All right, there we go. GG. Perhaps one of these will entice you. What do you got? What do you got? Uh, let's see. Oh, yo, that that's that's a bug. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, Gek is really. I think Gek is actually pretty good because like the fact it's basically a free scroll with the one one. It's nice because like it's just good to like you know for sacrificing and stuff. Uh, strange larva. What does strange larva do? Uh, fletching a card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful. Oh, that's that's fine. Uh, but I don't think that's something I want. <laughs> Gex is in this game? Yo, fuck. We're gonna get Gex. We gotta get Gex. We gotta get Gex. Gex is so good. The angler's foul smell slowly fades as you continue it on. But I think, like, this is the third time we got to this part. Um, and I think it was because we died for, like, story events. But I've also noticed something. You can actually get cards from previous runs into these. Because we didn't have a great card right away. We actually picked it up on the way, which is really nice. A moment. Ooh, what do we got here? Sheets of icy snow battered your body as you fought your way up to a vantage point. The snow covered trees jilted from the landscape like prickly misplaced teeth. You continued on through the snow line. Nice. Uh, what's going to here? What's going to here? What you up to, Dustin Arama? Anything fun plans for the night? Yo, it's Puss in Boots. That's right. The trial of... Uh, no, we're not going to do the trial of wisdom. Trial of the kin. Two of the three must be the draw of the pass. Eh, we're not going to do that. Trial of health. Uh, I meant to just double check it, but, you know, that's fine too. Oh, great card. It's a great, it's a great card. Success. Let's go. Nothing much. Old school runescape with the boys. What else is new, Dustin? But I hope you're having a good time, my dude. Nothing for me. I mean, it's not a bad thing because it just gives you time just to chill and relax. Uh, I'm... Reluctant to drop this. Or to grow for this one. Because we have another copy of this card, and it's actually phenomenal. Because it hides itself, it has high life, and it perpetually just gets stronger and stronger. Uh, Dam Builder. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a dam is created on each adjacent. Oh, that's not too bad either. Uh, kind of like good just for like blocking stuff. Uh, the Bloodhound is uh, just a Bloodhound. With the card bearing the sigil is played, you receive a random item as long as you pack. I mean, Pack Rat is. I mean, it's fine, but I kind of like this one because it gives us more bones as well. So, um, we're just gonna grab the we're gonna grab this, uh, you know, the tentacle boy. Uh, how many items do we actually have in our inventory? We have the one. Yeah, we have one. So we're gonna go for the backpack. I'd rather have stuff than not. Uh, I mean, a frozen possum to the user. A frozen possum is created in your hand. A frozen possum finds a power of zero five zero away. That's actually not too bad. Uh, the scissors are pretty good because it's an insta-kill on anything. And I think he gives us, like, two options. So we're going to grab the scissors first. Yo, frozen possum, let's go. We already have a pair of pliers, so we are good. Uh, let's see. What else do we have up here? So we can go through here. We already have our backpack full, so we can kind of, like... Yeah, we're just going to go this way. <coughs> EDH Brawl? I mean, maybe. If we get enough demand, I'll definitely build a brawl deck. We got a golden pelt, a stout, a bullfrog, and a squirrel. Uh, they have a zero two fledging on this card. Is okay, so it'll just strong itself. Uh, but it has another icon too, stinky. The creature opposing a card has once less power. That's not. That's not the worst thing that could be happening. It's not the funnest. So I guess we can deal with that later. Um, let's see. So 
You could drop Squirrel, then drop Bullfrog and just swing. Uh, we have zero bones. Yeah, we have zero bones. So Squirrel. Uh, we're going to go for Bullfrog for more damage. Swing there. The Golden Pelts. Uh, I guess we could drop it here. Well, mm, yeah, we could just put it right there. That's fine. Uh, and then we're just going to swing. Unfortunately, the pelt doesn't, like, go for sacrifice because it doesn't have any blood, but we can kind of just, like, you know, put it right there just so we can either fly over it or whatever. Uh, we could do stout. Or we, can, eh, we, we should probably just go with the squirrel. So put squirrel and then stout. So this means we can do three, which is not too bad. Puffy, thank you for being the mail tax, and I hope you're doing well tonight. How's it going, Puffy? Ooh, that was pretty nice, actually. Oh crap! Uh, they became four, two twos, two threes. That is, that is very impressive, actually. Uh, we have two bones. Uh, we'll go for a card in the deck. Gex, yo, it's all safe. It's good. Doing well. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay, right, Puffy. I appreciate for asking. Shout out. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Wolf. And thank you, thank you, thank you. We got Gex. It's uh, the best. And uh, Gex is good, though. Gex is good. Uh, we can do the apostle. Does the apostle actually have reach? No, he does not. So just be kind of like a dead card. Oh, this is not good. Um, I don't want to use scissors on them. We won't die if we... No, no, no. We're going to be fine. I don't want to put myself in a bad situation, but we're just going to do it anyway. So this will probably not kill us. Oh, wait. Ugh, that's actually not good. Um, Draw a card. Ooh, this is actually pretty solid. Okay, so... We got to get rid of one of these. We, we got to get rid of one of these. So... Uh, Stinky goes away. So get rid of that. Uh, we're gonna drop Gex! Gex is good. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna drop the, the lizard, the, the undersea creature. Uh, he will get better. I, I believe so. He does get better. Um, let's see. We can also take away one pain. Because we kind of have to at this point, too. Otherwise, we're gonna die. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Did I just screw that up, actually? Uh, I don't think so. At least for now, we should be okay. Uh, draw a card. So he's now at one, which is really good. Magpie. Actually, no, no, no. We have we have game. We have game. So we can you we can sacrifice stout and uh, yeah. We gotta we gotta get rid of this so we can have the open space. So we're gonna drop magpie. Magpie's gonna also search out anything. We're gonna search for great card. We're then going to summon great card by sacrificing bullfrog, putting him right here. And then we get just attack for game. The fact we have a tutor and great card is really good because we can just simply turn the tides pretty quickly. Which is really nice. And then how many bones we have? We have quite a bit of bones. Um, if we could draw it to a bone card, that'd be really good, but we'll have to see what actually happens. Wolf? Oh, that's awful. Oh, that is bad. Um, that doesn't have like reach or anything like that, so we're gonna swing. Oh, God. Uh, I need a... I need a squirrel. So we're going to drop the squirrel. We got to get rid of the sparrow because it's still packing away our life. The wolf actually has a 3-2, so... It's not going to be enough to take it out. So we got to get rid of the sparrow so we can at least kill because it, it has stinky. <laughs> okay, with the actually still a mechanic stinky. All right, cool. We actually got the win. So that's fine. That's fine. But yeah, like, the fact we can go into Magpie into a great card is a great play. I love it. It's so good. All right, let's see. So, Puss and Boots, we have a trial coming up here. Uh, we can do the Trial of Kin. Uh, probably a pass on that one based on what we're building. Uh, must have three suit. No, that's, that's too risky. Trial of Bones? Oh, that's actually kind of sucks. Um... Uh, these are all bad trials because our deck really has no bones. We have a few sigils here and there, but we don't have a lot of... Uh, I don't think we have like a lot of tribal support either, so... Um, I'm not too sure. I think the sigil, maybe. We might get lucky. Let's see. Uh, one, two. Ah, oh, so close. But we did actually have two on our great card, which is nice. So we actually do somehow pass, amazingly. Let's freaking go. All right, what do we get? We get Bloodhound who can attack in two different directions. Uh, we have Porcupine who can move himself over and also like deal one point back, which is not too bad. Or we can also do the River Otter. What a River Otter. 
So, Burrower. When empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil would move to that space and receive the strike instead. So he's basically like a blocker. Uh, not too bad, actually. Um, I really wish one of these dudes was like a Bones card, but I guess we're just destined not to play Bones for whatever reason. I meant to... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I meant to grab the other card. That's... Oh, that's... That, that's sad. That's sad. Diving one block. Though. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. Because, like, diving... Like, it just doesn't do anything on the opponent, so it's like a free attack. So, it's, uh, you know, it's it's a pretty tough call for some points like that. Um, what are one of these? I haven't, I don't remember what this actually does here. Let's actually take a look. Oh, yo, this is, like, the thing that is, like, you know, you probably see a Disney World. Okay, got it. So, we gotta sacrifice a card, I think, right? Um, well, we can't get rid of Gex. Gex is too good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have, like, no bone cards. Why do we not have any bone cards? That is crazy. Um, Skink is a 1-2 who drops something, that, which is good for sacrificing later on. This, uh, like, we don't even use Uriel, like, at all. But, like, I kind of want to hold on to him for, like, you know, the sacrifice at the end of the round. Uh, so I'm kind of, like, reluctant to, like, get rid of him. Can't even read that, unfortunately. Yeah, he is really hard to play, but he's, like, good for, like, when you screw up and die. Because at that point, we could just use him for, like, his abilities if we get lucky. Um, sometimes we don't even get his stats anyway, so. Yo, Dan, good to see you. Hope you are doing well. How's it going? How are you doing today, Dan? Um, Gex is too good. Gex is too good. He's a PlayStation 2 icon. Uh... The Bulldog actually has pretty good defense either. Do you mean to lose? You do will lose the custom card at the end. But what I've noticed, Ramen, is that during your sequential playthroughs, you have the chance, like the probability, of actually getting them back. Otherwise, we never would have gotten the great card. Because we actually got the great card like a little bit before stream. I did play like five or ten minutes of like the few things we actually got to pick them up from like the route itself. Um, Honestly... We're not going to get rid of those guys. Uh, Packrat is... We're just going to get rid of Packrat. It's a bit of an expensive boy. Um, and we usually have full inventory anyway. We also got a bone card. So that's actually kind of nice too. So let's jump into here now. But hope you're doing well, Dan. How are, how are things treating you, my dude? Oh, it just gives us one? That's such a ripoff. No, it's fine. Uh, so we have a 0-2, a 1-1, one, one, and a 0-2. Interesting. Uh, yo, we actually have the Bloodhound, so that's actually not too bad. Unfortunately, we don't have, a, like, the Gex. If we had Gex, that would have been good. Stinky birds are back. Yo, they're very stinky. They are they are so stinky that they, uh, they smell, you know? <laughs> that was so bad. Uh, this drops a few more bones, which is nice. We're gonna hit for zero, because we're just that good. So the Elk Fawn is gonna hit us. Those are gonna evolve next turn, I believe. Um, we're gonna go for the Squirrel. This is a 1-3. We could take these out. And can we take out the bug? No, we can't. Interesting. Basically, Diablo Mortal. Nice. How is that game treating you? Um, I have, like, I'm, I've kind of been uh, contemplating about checking out Diablo Mortal, but I've always just, I, I, I just don't know when I'd be able to play it, you know? So we're obviously going to drop the squirrel first. And drop Bloodhound and just start swinging at these guys. I guess we could do that. Yeah, I'm going to go for the deer nag as well, because, like, unfortunately... Oh! Yo! That's actually pretty good! So, with Bloodhound, he only loses his attack if it's directly in front. If it's, like, you know, it, like you know, parallel, whatever the freaking term is, like, it doesn't get the stat in the gate. That's actually pretty good. Uh, I like that. That's that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty poggers. Uh, I like it. Um, We can attack for that... Unfortunately, we can't really do much else with that. So we gotta drop the squirrel here. Shoot. Um. Oh. Oh, that is not good because uh, we are pretty close to death. And I came and blocked the raven even with the the possum. Right? Does the possum? This is a weird thing to say, but does the possum blood? Can I sacrifice a possum? We can't. So we gotta get rid of this. If we could draw to like maybe a scissors or something. 
Gonna make a video review of the game and then why I haven't streamed since that game. I mean, fair enough, dude. It's always good to kind of like keep your community kind of like up to speed on that one. Get rid of the Raven, otherwise we die. So I'm kind of glad we got the scissors. Hope you're doing well, Koros. How's it going, my dude? We have so much bones, but we can't do anything with them. It kills me. And then we're gonna swing a pack rat, because why not? Another Raven and a Sparrow. I think we're dead. Oh God, we're not dead. Holy crap, we're not dead. We're not dead, boys. Uh, Squirrel ain't gonna do anything, so we gotta take a gamble. Oh, we we dead, boys. We dead. Uh, cause they would have been able to scroll, like, go over the squirrels anyway. Yeah, we, we did, boys. <laughs> Swing with pack rat. Who would have thought this would have been our demise? But again, like, the biggest problem with this deck is we had no bone creatures. Like, there's nothing I could really do. We have one more life, which is good. But, come on, we need to, we need to get some bone creatures. Please, give me some bones in chat. Uh, yes. Oh, that's eight. Uh, I mean, oh, like I asked for it, but you know, I should have been more specific. Oh, okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, I I think we have like a, a lot of bones. Hopefully, all right. Um, sure. Let's go talk to this guy. It's so not so not cool. You came upon the woodcarver who had a fixed intense gaze on you. And after an overlong moment of silence, she moved to offer her carvings. Um, I forget what these actually do. Oh, uh, we're gonna take this uh, sigil one. Because, like, again, flying is really good. Like, the only thing that kind of sucks, like, with flying, you can't choose, like, um, which one that you're, like, really doing, but it is what it is. Because, like, like cause if you have flying, you just go over it anyway. Like, I wish you had the choice, but I guess it'll just make the game a little bit less complicated, you know? Because you need to, really like, figure out what you need to do. Have you have you played this game, Robin? I think you would definitely enjoy this game for sure, my dude. Uh, we have none of those anymore, but that's okay. We have Gex. Um, wow, this is actually very impressive. We can do quite a bit of damage turn one. I have not. Dude, you should get it. You should totally get it. I think you would enjoy it a lot, man. Um, let's see what a car would be struck. So it has to be struck. It can't just be sacrificed. Otherwise, if you could summon, sh like, if I could summon Skink after sacrificing Gex and then, like, you know, summon Bloodhound sacrificing, you can get, like, a tail after that, too. That'd be insane. But we're going to go with Bloodhound on this <laughs> turn. Uh, drop the Bloodhound. We're going to attack for four right off the gate and put ourselves in a pretty good position. Uh, that's not too bad. Oh, uh, we're going to be killing the Elk Fauna anyway, so we have Skinks. We could draw this. Skinks will be able to drop something to protect itself anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's fine. We can just do that. Uh, yes, yeah, right there is fine. Then we can attack, taking out both of them, and even doing some background damage as well. That Elk is going to kill our thing, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Skinks is just a bunch of gigs. I mean, he's not a bad card. Not a bad card at all. Um, that's not the one I meant to draw, but that's cool. That's fine. So we can drop. We gotta drop this one over. Well, it doesn't really matter because that's underground. It's just gonna be taking damage anyway. Um, yeah, this is a zero three right now. It won't change until later on. So we'll put it right here because this will move it over here, so I can be able to take it out next turn possibly, and then just pass turn. Oh shit! It's a two four. Oh god, this deck is so bad. Uh, can we draw a great card, please? <laughs> We're dead. We are so dead. We are so dead. Uh, I thought the monster mirrored the damage. No, nah, not necessarily. Uh, I don't even understand this whole like you know situation with this thing. To me, it just seems like it always gained a little bit more, which is kind of cool. Uh, but it might mirror the damage. I don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, we have so many bones, but nothing to really use it on. Either way, we're dead. We're dead. Um, which is fine. Honestly, this deck is extremely unbalanced because there's no bone summoning creatures. Like, we have all the bones in the world, but nothing to use them with. Oh, it's fine. He's, he's giving us a hug. He's giving us a hug. It is, uh, it is so adorable. He's just giving us a hug. It's great. It's great. So, we're, we're fine. We're fine. A beautiful death card. Hugs and chat. Hugs and chat. Though I could use some detail. So, we're gonna get a photograph here. 
Uh, so please choose card to dr for the costing cast. Um, Gex, because we're getting a new deck, right? So yeah, we're going to choose a free casting. Ooh, a 3-2 for free is pretty good. Yo, King Boomy, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Hope you are doing well. Can we get a shout-out for King Boomy? By the way, I did see that you and your friend were streaming Hearthstone. Pretty awesome stuff, man. How did the... I wasn't able to stay in for the entire time, but how did the games go? Now, choose a card for which you want the sigils. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, we get a free 3-2 with the ability of upgrading the next turn, so give me that. Give me that indeed. Thank you, Chorus. I appreciate you. I never did ask for your name. Um... How much characters do I have? Budget Gex. Sure. Let's go with Budget Gex. Any good card has a portrait. No, I'm just kidding. Goodbye. Alright. So, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That, that's just a part of life, right? Is this new? I... Is this new? I don't remember this. Is it? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Do you play Hearthstone? The last time I played with Dragons, it went off. Nah, I, I tried playing Hearthstone, but it was so similar to another card game that I already currently play, I kind of stopped playing it because, like, it was playing the same game, just, like, different, like, you know, maps and skins, in a sense. Um, I mean, I'm not against the game. It's pretty fun, but I just don't have the time to play it. We got a raid. <laughs> Yo, Christian, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. You like turtles? Turtles are freaking great. Can we get a shout for Christian Baron? One, two, three. I had such high hopes for that last one. What do I bother trying to teach you? Yo, you're playing the Bleach Brave Souls. Nice. I know it just recently came to PS4. How do you like it so far? It's not a bad free mobile game. You, you will learn as we go, or you will die. Uh, here's your deck. Uh, we got Stinkbug, we got Stout, we got Bullfrog, and we got Wolf. Study it. Uh, sure. What's up, deck? Good to see you. Uh, yeah. Cool. Nice. If you like Bleach, you like it? No, I actually play it. I actually play it, Christian. Um, I've had an account on the Steam version for like two years. It's not a bad game. It's a very fun game, actually. Alright, let's go for a new run. New run straight from scratch. Let's get it, boys. Uh, the Arcuri Porcupine. Sharp quills await for those who dare attack it. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I totally agree. What level? Oh, man, I don't know. Honestly, I just log in and do, like, some of the dailies. But, like, a lot of my characters like, 200. Uh, like, level 200. I have, like, a few, like, a level 6 ascended. Like, it's pretty insane. Uh, let's see. I will take... Skink isn't bad, but I'll take this one for the, for the you know, cumulative building up. Um, we don't have anything really set up for... We're gonna go to the fireplace. So we can be able to boost up something. I'll have to get back with you on the question. I haven't played in a... I, don't, I haven't checked my levels in a very long time. I just know my party is like at level 200 for everything. I'm not missing out on how sleep you are. Yo, last pass. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. The crackling fire lit in the starving faces of a group of survivors. We have no food, said one. Perhaps one of your creatures will join us. Enhance its health, said another. Uh, yeah, we can tell. Oh, it's a plus two? Gimme. Um, nope. Uh, let's see. I mean, honestly. One for. I mean, this thing is always underwater, so I feel like it doesn't really matter too much on its health. Um, the wolf, you know, a three, four wouldn't be too bad for a two. Um, actually, no, we'll, we'll get into the stink bug because he already has poopy. What are you going to call the stinky, stinky poopy, whatever ability? Uh, so it'll make it much longer to kill this dude anyway. So we're going to give it to him. Have you been good, sir? I've been better. I've been better. <laughs> uh, this might sound weird, but my voice is still not fully healed. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm going to have to go to get it checked out. But anything above my normal voice register sounds like <laughs> it's really weird. Thank you for paying the mail tax, Christian. I appreciate it. That's why when I'm doing, like, voice acting and stuff like that, I don't do a lot of high-pitched voices or anything like that. And it makes me sad. Uh, no, we're pulling away. We're pulling away. The health of the stink bug was enhanced by the wolf. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, he withdrew. Yeah, I'm afraid that eventually if you, like, try to get too greedy, they'll take our stink bug. And I, I, I can't live with that. I can't live with that, everybody. 
We have a squirrel and a bottle and a hook and the pliers. That's actually pretty good. Uh, we also have a stink bug. We have squirrel. We have stout. We also have bullfrog. I got one, two, one, two. Okay. Uh, we're gonna drop the squirrel. Obviously, this is a one three, and it also moves both directions. It's a one three. I don't like that. Um, I suppose we can drop stout. So sacrifice the squirrel. Drop stout. We'll have stout attack for one. He's gonna do double tap or double tap, a uh, double strike technically. Um. Yeah, I guess we could draw a squirrel. We can drop the squirrel here. We can play. We'll play bullfrog. There we go. See, so he's a one three stink bug. Is not too bad either in the situation. Yeah, because he's a 1-4-2, so we're going to drop them so we can be able to do some damage on him, but also just kind of, like, give ourselves a barrier of taking damage. Because Stinkbug and Bullfrog will not be going anything from Pronghorn. So I think that's actually fairly decent. You know how I steal Soul Mode? Yes, I do. I do, Last Pass, and I honestly don't think I could ever get through it. What about you? Are Is that what you're going through? Are you doing the Steel Soul Mode challenge? That's very impressive if you are. I do say so myself. Um, give me a card. Yo, that's actually pretty decent. Um, you did it. You beat it. That's the mode that if you die once, you pretty much start all the way from the beginning, right? Do they give you any enhancers to deal with that, or is it just a one and done sort of thing? Um, he's gonna be moving. That's insane, dude. Congratulations. I mean, I loved Hollow Knight, but I do not love it enough to subjugate myself to that. That's just insane. Congratulations, dude. Beating my third run. Dude, very, very impressive. How do you feel now that it's over? And I guess I misread that card because I thought it was supposed to go underground. Uh, drop a squirrel, swing for this, kill that. There was only one way to save the run. How is that? We got the wolf, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter too much. So drop the wolf, and then we'll just go for the stink butt to do some damage. We also got some extra excess damage, so let's freaking go. Uh, yeah, we gotta go upwards. And quite right before he died, it's all over. I mean, okay, yeah, I mean, if you do that, that makes sense, but where's the honor in that? No, I'm just kidding. You gotta find a way to do it, right? You will find better pants within a hundred miles. Are you sure about that? Let's take a look. I have two. Um. Uh, no. Oh, wait. This one's on the house. Give me. I'll take it. Thank you. It's a strat, actually. I mean, it's. I feels like it's the only way to survive, right? Otherwise, you just have to like, redo everything. I don't, I don't think I would be able to do it. The decrepit woodkeeper appeared before you. She moved with vigor in spite of considerable age. Let's see. So, I think I will grab this head. You hunch down to her place, offering it a part of your pack. When you look up again, the ancient woman has vanished. Speedrunner saving quit to save time. So, I mean, fair. Because, like, if you... Does it take you back to, um, what is it? The main city, or does it take you back where you saved? I forgot. I haven't played Hollow Knight in years. Because, so, like, the last time we played Hollow Knight was pretty much when we were streaming it. It was a really fun game. It was my first Metroidvania game onto it, and it got me hooked into the franchise. So this dude also has another double strike with a 1-3. Last bench. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense that you would use it as, like, a kind of like a cheat. Not really a cheating way, but just, like, to get through the game quicker. Uh, I guess we could drop... You know, take the squirrel. We don't have Gex, unfortunately. Make two. And then we'll just drop these. The Grand Furs would be kind of nice for a little bit of diversion sort of thing. So we could just do this. We'll probably drop... We'll probably grab a squirrel. Yeah, we'll grab a squirrel. So he's going to attack here and here. So we are going to play a squirrel. Doesn't really matter if we play the squirrel. Because we got to just choose where we want it to go. Uh, we will put stout. Mm, we'll just put him right there so we can do four. So that'll be enough for game, right? Yes, let's go. I love how the death show. I love how that death showed you the answer to one of the puzzles in the room, and you haven't used that info yet. Of course we haven't. Why would we? I I do need to go through and actually do some of the puzzles though. I really do. 
I think I just got surprised seeing that in the first place because I've never seen the game do that. You know, it was really interesting. Oh, out, ooh, bo bo bat card too. The Meddlesome Bat, a minor terror. I mean, this is actually pretty nice too. Increase our uh, adjacent to this card bearing the sigil gains one power. Alpha doesn't seem too bad. Rather, is a three one. I kind of like Alpha a little bit more because it gives it, it has more life and also buffs everybody else up. That on my uh, H on my second run due to me being at three HP and think I could kill something. Yeah, dude. Like that's why I could never be able to do that playthrough. It's just so much stress, you know. Um, let's see. If we can get something. We can go. Bah. Oh wait. Yeah, our we need more cards in our deck. We definitely need some more cards in our deck. Hmm. I think we're gonna go this way. We can also make something even stronger too, so we're gonna do that. A group of starving survivors stand around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature on the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Uh, delicious. So it's gonna get quite a bit of stuff here actually as well. So it already has a bite mark and plus one. <laughs> Yo, Casey, thank you for the 100 biddies. I appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, sorry for headphone users everywhere. <laughs> Can we get a shout out for Casey Goldeneye? How are you doing, my dude? Hope you're doing well. Um, Drop stout into it. We'll do that. Two, three. Surely your creature will become more powerful. But you need to risk another moment by the fire. <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna pull away. We're gonna keep pulling away. Go to bed my ears, for real. Yo, I'd appreciate it. And also, thank you for the goat sound, Dan. I appreciate you as well. Pepe, leave. No, I mean, if you gotta do a Christian, but again, I appreciate you. I'll try to get the information on the bleach thing for you as well. The the anime, not, you know, not, not the cleaning thing, not the cleaning thing. <laughs> I was looking away, my ears got blasted. Oh, Casey, what have you done? You've done it again. No, it's all good. Uh, they have the coyote and the wolf cub. The wolf cub will get stronger perpetually, which is fine. Um, we don't have Gex. I miss Gex so much. Gex was good. Gex was good. Can we get some Gex in chat? Uh, we can make Bullfrog, which is a 1-2. We can make Stout, which is a 2-3. We're going to go with Stout. Okay, so thank you for the look, man. I appreciate you. Hope you have a good day at work, my dude. So we're going to be taking 3, which is the inevitable. Um, I'm going to draw a squirrel so we can be able to kill this wolf cub. God, that sounded really bad. What do you mean it would even be a Gex? You could just type in exclamation point Gex or something. And honestly, dude, I, I think we should get some Gex emails. I think Gex emails would be hilarious. Or something. Or like, maybe I'll go through uh, sound alerts and see if I can find like Gex quotes to play or something like that. That might be kind of fun. Uh, let's see, that's a two one. We have not a lot of bones actually, so. Pepe, yeah, I, I mean, I mean, you know, it's amphibious, so I guess we'll work with that. We'll work with that. Um, I guess we can take a squirrel. Yeah, we can do this. We're going to take a squirrel, make this. We're going to sacrifice the bullfrog and the squirrel, giving us access to a wolf. Take out the coyote and the pork. Uh, I mean, the porcupine will do us one point of damage, but stout will survive for the time being. So we're going to do that. Sparrow's going to be able to do one, but that's... Jeez, that actually got me. Who did it? Anonymous. Uh, I want to say that could have either been Raptor or Coco, but either way, thank you for the 25 biddies. I appreciate you all, amazing individuals. Thanks, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> was it Casey? I don't know if it was Casey. He's got to go to work. He's got to be a good boy. Uh, we're gonna drop Squirrel and just start swinging. Uh, Cause we're gonna be, we're still doing five, but they're doing only one. We got the game, so we're good. GG. All right, so I need I need cards. That's what we need. We need cards in our deck. It was Casey. Oh, Casey, you you magnificent individual. Um, I wish I. Oh, you can look at your deck. Holy crap. Uh, let's see. One, one, one. We need more. Uh, I don't know. Actually, we need more twos. A beat. Well, damn. <laughs> Get it, Beaver? Damn. Then we lurk and get ready for work. Yo, I appreciate the biddies, man. Thank you so much. Raptor, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. How's it going, my dude? When a creature bearing this sigil is played, a dam is crowded on each empty adjacent space. 
I almost said David Spade. That's hilarious. Uh, Dam is defined as zero two health. I mean, it's just good protection. It's a one four as well. It's basically the equivalent of what is it like? Great? No, it's not Great Soldier Stone. It's a uh, total defense Shogun. That's that's totally it. Totally it. Right? It wasn't Casey. I could confirm that. <laughs> Raptor, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the bits, man. It means the world to me. I'm tired. I mean, dude, if you're tired, get some sleep, dude. The decrepit woodkeeper appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. Um, I'll, I'll take this one. What about top? It's a wolf bearing bones. Without another word, the wood craver, car carver was gone. Oh, I hate when the wood carvers just disappear. All right, I feel we got to take care of the prospector. Let's do it. No, I mean, you do what you gotta do, man. You do what you gotta do. I can't tell you what to do or what not to do. So we got the big smoke. That's good. The trees closed in tight around you, creating an impenetrable bush. The only way out is forward. And the audible shape of a man stood in that way. Got any gold in that skull? Let me crack it open and take a look. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Prospect of our boss again. Yo, we actually got Stink Bug, but he's only a 1-4. He's stinky. But he's actually a pretty good defense card, too, which is nice. Uh, he's going to be dropping a Coyote and a Pack Mule. I relate to that. Got to go to bed and see you around in the morning. Yo, last mess. Thank you so much for dropping in. It's always a pleasure having you here, part of our community. Get some good rest. Get some good sleep. And hopefully we'll see you in the next stream, my dude. Take it easy. We're going to drop Stout. Uh, stink Bug, we're probably not going to drop it until, like, maybe next turn or something. Because I don't want like, him to kill everything with, you know, the gold rush. That is never fun. So we're going to drop these two, swing for three, and then just let him do what he do. Stout is going to survive, which is good. Um, this, this, this thing over here is stinky, so that's fine. Uh, we're going to draw a squirrel, kind of hold on to it. Uh, let's see. So where am I at? Where are we at? Yeah. Okay, so that's fine. Um... We have four bones, so we're just going to attack directly, actually. Because I don't want to rush for the win just yet. Um, we will draw another squirrel. Because next turn, we can probably start drawing from our deck. And just, like, kind of build up, like, a fort. Uh, like, you know, power and stuff like that. Oh, Mole is, like, he gets in the way. I did not realize that. Kind of good for us. We get an extra turn to draw cards, which is nice. Alpha is pretty good because if anything, I could just make an army of squirrels. Not really, and start attacking. Uh, we can even do stink bug, which is nice too. He can move twice. Damn, that's actually pretty impressive. Um, I don't want to really use cards, but I guess we have no choice. Um, we don't need to draw squirrels, so we're gonna draw a regular card. A uh, wolf is not bad. Um, we have four, so we have. Five. We have five of those. Uh, I'd rather not get rid of Wolf. I think we will probably be fine. We just need one. So we're going to get rid of... We're going to summon Stink Bug. And then we'll swing for game. Well, first one, you know. So then he's going to use the Almighty Gold Rush. Killing all of our things, unfortunately. We gotta kill the coyote for sure. We definitely gotta take care of the coyote. Um, Alpha, we gotta draw from our deck. Uh, not too bad, but we need to get... Oh man, that kinda sucks actually. So I could still get rid of the coyote. The pack mule is gonna take in place of that. This thing will come over... And let's see. So when an opposing creature is placed in front of... Blah, 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 read. Okay. So we can't sacrifice the gold, which, you know, is fair. Uh, we gotta drop Alpha, unfortunately. And then just swing at the coyote. Oh, yo! The gold nuggets now have power because of Alpha. I forgot about that. And we get a bunch of cards. We actually got a free booster pack. Yo, can we pull a, uh, what is it? Can we pull a Mystic Mine or some shit? That's amazing. I didn't even realize that was actually going to happen. Let's freaking go. <laughs> so good. Uh, all right, what do we draw? What do we draw? What do we draw? We drew a skunk. Um, nice. We drew a bulldog, which is, you know, pretty good. Name him Scruffy. Uh, we got an opossum, not a possum, but an opossum. Uh, good, good, good stuff. Good stuff. Well, damn. We got another beaver. 
Uh, let's see. So we could drop... Alpha's gonna stay on the board right now. He's actually pretty good. Can I drop anything right now with three? No, I... How many bones do we have? We have four? Uh, let's see. I mean, I can drop... I mean, I could drop a wolf. He has no more cards. We just speed run for the... We'll just do that. Let's just do that. So sacrifice these two. I'll drop this boy. And then swing. He's got Adler, but he won't be able to be, like, living up in time. So we can just go for the win. Rabbit pelt. Oh, yeah, that's right. We actually got a rabbit pelt. Um, once I get rid of the other gold nugget, that's fine. So I guess we can drop... Really not much. Uh, yeah, really not a whole lot. So we're gonna drop a squirrel, and I guess we're just gonna drop like you know the kraken from the deep. Why? Why is he a six power? I mean, I'm not complaining. That's just great. Why? Why is he a six power for one? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, swing for game. Massive game win. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so that's good. That's good. New light. Uh, I mean, I would, I would be very happy with them. Thank you, thank you. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Can we get, like, a good card? Mole Man! A zero six. he's... Ooh. The Stowart Mole Man, the ultimate defense. Awesome dude. Uh, the DOS. Long Elk. I have no words for that freak of nature. What do you do, buddy? Uh, let's see. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature... Oh, it has death touch. That's nice. Uh, when a card bearing the sigil is played, each time it's created in each empty adjacent space, each time it's defined as a zero one hell. Uh, fuck. I kind of want the Mole Man. Mole Man's kind of cool. He also can fly. I've never seen a flying Mole Man with a shovel. Um, somehow that just kind of sounds like a, something I need more in my life. Wiping the dust from your trousers, you return to your journey. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's no Gex, but I'll take it. You entered the wetlands. English. All right. Let's see what we got here. New cards. Let's go. Budget Gex. Oh, let's go. <laughs> That's great. We were just talking about Gex. So now that we got budget Gex packs, let's freaking go. Gimme, 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 gimme. Uh, let's see. So we can either go for the backpack. We can either go for the, the sacrificial thing. We're going to go for this one. We might be able to get rid of something good. Oh, it's the woodcarver. I guess I misread that. Um, guess we'll go for this one. Not even really too sure what the woodcarver really does. Uh, we don't really need to look at our deck right now, so I guess we can just move on. All right, so let's hopefully we get lucky and actually open up pretty decent. Like, Budget Gex is such a good victory for us. We might be able to do something pretty good with it. Ah, oh, we didn't even get it. I was hoping that we were actually going to get lucky and open up. But Budget Gex, so they have a 2-1, a 1-1, one, one, and a 1-1. One, one. Okay. Um, Alpha, we don't have enough bones, unfortunately. We don't have anything to drop the bones either. Uh, I mean, we could drop the Rabbit Pelt. But then again, it doesn't have these have flying, yeah? They all have flying, so that's not that good for us. This has reach, which is good, so we can kind of like get some protection. So we're gonna drop this creature. It's a zero, it's a two one. So that's not too bad because it gives us some protection against like, you know, the onslaught from these fishies. So that's good. Then we come upside down. Uh, we should probably draw into a squirrel. It's now a two one. But a second ago, it was just a 3-1. Interesting. So, I don't understand that mechanic. Either way, we're going to attack directly. Kind of put us back in the same thing here. That's going to take out that. We're going to do that. We have two of these. I guess we're going to go for a card from the deck. We got a wolf, which is pretty nice. Um, Can't drop alpha right now. If I really wanted to, we could use the hook, take over, sacrifice, and then summon the wolf. So that wouldn't be a bad thing. 
Oh, I guess I could do that. I don't, I don't really know how this works. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four. Oh, so we get four instead of something like that dies. So one, one. So it's going to be doing four. This thing will come up further and attack us for more. Uh, I guess we could just do that. So we're going to take this. And this now puts us at uh, five points of damage. Which is technically enough to win on its own. So I guess we can do that. Ooh, we get some more cards up here. So that's pretty good. Oh, uh, let's see. Bone cards would be nice. Reginald! Yo, the dude with death strike and he costs three. That's actually pretty good. Um, yo, that's actually really nice. And like being a bone card, two of all things is great as well. This I believe gets rid of a card. This like kind of like stacks of power. So we're gonna go with this one. So I believe this is a sacrifice card. This is the one that like you know becomes whatever it is. Um, let's see. So we can. <laughs> Let's see. So I guess we could drop this on top. We don't really have a lot of good cards to do this either. Mole Man is okay. I'll go. I mean, you're a 2 three. You're already stacked from earlier in the run anyway, so I don't think I want to get rid of that just yet. Mm, let's see. Alpha's kind of... It's a 4. I don't want to really get rid of it. Uh, let's see. I guess we can get rid of the... We're going to get rid of the Bullfrog. He does have, like, you know, the Flying Sigil power, which is nice. And being a 1-2 is kind of good, but it's also not, like, the best thing in the house, you know? Uh, let's see. We will give this to... We'll give it to you. That's... F I misread that! Oh, I thought, like, the bottom card was, like, the one that... Gets... Whatever. Oh... This game is so freaking great. I think I blast my first session. It's a great game, dude. It's a really, really good game, man. Welcome, ATM. Hope hope you're having a good time. Welcome, dude. Uh, I mean, we got the Mole Man, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> oh, I'm still very, very sad. I am very, very sad. Uh, I mean, the Bullfrog is kind of nice. He has Stinky. You know, that's fine. Uh, drop the Squirrel. Then we're going to drop Mole Man just to kind of like block for some damage and then just pass turn. Not really much else we can do. How far did you get to ATM so far? We can also use the, him for Sacrifice Outlet, too, if we really need to. Uh, we have one bone, so I should probably draw this. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I don't remember if they have flying. Do they have flying? So we're going to drop that. Bullfrog is stinky. I uh, just died at the second boss. Dude, nice progress, man. Nice progression. That is really good. I'm going to take out the Coyote, lead these guys to take... Oh, we don't take any damage. Oh, that's not good. Uh yes, damn. Beaver dam. <laughs> so good. Um not good, not good. Cause the damage is just gonna be like dead weight at this point, you know? It's just gonna be dead weight. Um because you can't sacrifice the dam. I don't think you can. Budget Gex for the win! Holy good. Budget Gex is good. Well, let me guess. I'm just dead weight. It's so good. I love DMC5. It's so good. Easy. Budget Gex. You can also take out River Otter. Actually, no, we can't because it's just going to be there. Um, Budget. Actually, we won. Why am I scared? We, we won. We freaking won. Uh, Stout's a... Yeah, we could just summon Stout, too. Let's just do that. Bye, bye, beaver. All right. Um, Yo. Go. Easy. With one excess damage, too. Let's go. All right, um, let's see. I'm going to go this way because we can get something from our backpack, too, and not have to deal with, like, some of the other BS coming up here. Bones, blood. Bones, cockroach. Wait, what do you do? Uh, when a card bearing the sigil perish, a copy of this card is created in your hand. If this wasn't a four-bone costing creature, this would be good, but I feel like that's a little bit expensive. Cockroach is great for just, like, you know, keep getting copies, but you need to, like, have, like, a bone aggression build, I'm assuming. Am I wrong, or am I right? I mean, the way that I see Dustin going about it, he seems like, you know, the cockroach is, like, a great thing, so, like, shit, cockroach, let's go, we did it! So good. Um, uh, but we'll see. 
Um, we can go with, let's see. I can go with the squirrel, because squirrels are free sacrifice, why not? Um, the black goat. Uh, let's see, doesn't this thing like, uh, I think with the black goat, does it like it always just like constantly be coming back when it's sacrificed? Uh, no, like when it's sacrificed, it becomes three blood. That's actually not too bad. Uh, you'll have airborne sigil this turn. We are going to go for this one. That seems pretty good. Yes, ATM, you are always welcome, dude. And hopefully this sub can actually be here for more than, like, two hours. And also have to drive back up to a different state within, like, you know, two hours. Like, that was still a nutty dip, but I really appreciate the dedication, my dude. Budget Gex for 3-1 turn one. What? Oh, it's so good. We also drew a squirrel to protect our boy. So we're going to drop. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. So Mole Man taking over squirrel. We are doing that. Should be able to stay for the while. I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, man, we can even have you crash for the night if you wanted to. But we'll get more details into that. We already won this turn, so that's good. Budget Kex is really, really good. He's a super saiyan at this point, pretty much. Uh, Bullfrog. Cool. C -c 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 cool. It doesn't matter. We already... Uh, yeah, I mean, we, uh, we can go with the stinky boy. We're going to go with the stinky bullfrog. Swing. And then just have Budget Gex clear for the victory. Budget Gex might as well be a god card, because he's just so powerful really early on. Oh, I kind of went... Uh, that's fine. Corpse Maggots. The inevitable maggot. And they will launch forth from your hand when your creatures are killed. Wait, what? River Snapper. The Stuart Snapper. Near impenetrable defense. One six is pretty good. Uh, let's check out the look of the Sigil. Uh, Corpse Eater. If there's a creature that you perish by combat, a card bearing the Sigil in your hand. Oh. That's kind of good. That's pretty good. I think we're going to take that. Because, like, you know, our, our shit dies pretty quickly anyway. So that's actually not a bad trade-off, in my opinion. Um... I really... Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to give that to those. Because we actually do have a few wolves and stuff like that, so we are good. But I'm glad you really enjoyed this game, ATM. It, it's definitely one of those games that it's just like addicting and just really, really fun. We got the smoke. You first mistook a shaped boulder appeared to be a hulking man. You attempted to sneak past him. But your foot made contact with the metal bucket. With the metal bucket, really? Let's go. I am the angler. You are the fish. Uh, I mean, if we can get budget Gex, I mean, Reginald's not bad. Reginald's not bad either. Uh, let's see. So he's just dropping a Kingfisher. It swims underneath and it flies. It's not too bad. Uh, we do have this thing, which is good. So we're going to drop this. What is its power on its own? It's a 3-1. We can also create the Mole Man. Does this thing get more powerful the less amount of cards you have in the field? Is that how this works? It went from a 3 to a 1. Somebody please explain that to me. I thought I was being smart by playing Mole Man, but I guess not. Uh, you don't get that. You you, you don't really get to choose that, my guy. Uh, we're going to play a Squirrel. So he's going to go after for the Squirrel. Yeah, we'll just do that. Those are coming. Mole Man will jump in front of those two. He took our score, which is such a scumbag thing to do. Uh, we have quite a bit of bone, so we're going to draw from the deck. Rapid Pelt. I mean, a Pelt would actually be pretty decent right now, because they could just take the Pelt instead, right? But his attack is now that. So... We'll just attack. We could still have Mole Man protect our life for quite a bit. Oh, he couldn't jump in front because he wasn't... Oh, that kind of sucks, but that's fine. Uh, nobody has blockers, so I guess we could just draw... We can draw from the deck. Yeah, we can draw from the deck. Wolf! Oh, that's... Um... Reginald, when the car bearings, that creature perishes. That's pretty good. Now, if I remember correctly, he drops a ton of stuff when he loses. He also steals my squirrel, that asshole. <laughs> 
Uh, alright, so... Drop the pelt. Because he'll try taking the pelt next, so that's fine. Reginald's going to attack directly, win the first round. And then those are created. Um, we can easily afford it. pretty much any sacrifice at this point, including with the squirrel. So we're going to draw from the deck. Corpse man. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. So we're going to sacrifice these three. Um, we have four bones. Not too bad. Uh, swing for three. Oh, wait, we already won. Ha! Ah, that's fine. <laughs> we good, we good. Easy, GG. Let me relight your candles. Oh, yeah, I guess we, that's also pretty cool, too. Like, because if we, like, lost at some point, they could just relight it for us, which is nice. Um, can we get, like, a budget Egyptian god? Child 13. I feel like this card is busted. Gex! On uh, Anagram. Interesting. Let's see. So, when a child, when a card bearing this is sacrificed, it does not perish. That is actually really good because it's basically an endless sacrifice. But Gex. Gex is too good. Um, we do have quite a bit of... Well, let's check our deck really quick. So, we have Wolf, Stout, Bullfrog. Four, five, six... It's not too bad. Yeah, I guess we can go Child 13. Child 13 is really good. I guess it'll also kind of like incentivize to like pick up more blood casting creatures, which would be nice. Shaken, but a newfound resolve. You move forward past the pawn. The angler now lay. I don't know. I, I feel like we need to feel like how to like go. I might actually to like, you know, do some like off stream games at this point. Or even in the Discord to like get a more feel for the game. The beauty of the fallen snow cannot distract you from your chill and your bones. Your body quaked. In a futile attempt to maintain warmth, you had finally reached the snow lane. Uh, it's actually kind of quick to go through the snow lane, if I remember correctly. Uh, we can either do the trial, we can either get a random card, and then go into... Yeah, we're actually going to do this one. Definitely going to go for this one, because we can get more stuff, too. Prong... Ooh, prong horn. Oh, it's a 1-3 with 2-2. Two, two. We don't have the alpha anymore, but that'd be pretty cool. Let's see, when a car is sacrificed, it's, it's, we don't have anything super high casting for Blood Goat. Um, I don't think we have a lot of twos in our deck either, do we? We have one, two, yeah, we only have two twos. So, Blood Goat would be, it's not that worth it in my opinion, so we're going to go Pronghorn. Because again, it does do double strike. If we still had Alpha, that'd be really nice, but it's, it's whatever. We can also bust something else with its HP too, so we're gonna do that. Um, let's see. What do I mean? Child thirteen. I don't want it to die to combat really quickly, so I guess we could boost up child thirteen. So give it some more health at this point. Twitter was definitely amusing to watch after the butter soda announcement. Such a nice way to continue the day. I mean, I'd imagine people were going pretty nuts for it, honestly. You know, which is good because. Honestly, I feel like it's a really good move for Microsoft in the end because, again, it's just pushing Microsoft to be a little bit more like the Xbox, be more rounded in terms of gaming. Because, like, again, Microsoft didn't have a lot of JRPGs or stuff like that, if I remember correctly. So this is a great way for Alice to kind of, like, work with them now, too. Moose Buck and Mole Hill. Plus, that means people can play Persona, like, with Game Pass, which is nice. Because uh, Game Pass has an app, which is, you know, pretty cool. I like it. Uh, we can go with Stout with Squirrel. We can also drop the Pelt. So Stout's going to attack after we sacrifice this. This thing is a 3-7. This dude is pretty big. Holy crap. Uh, we're going to drop the rabbit pelt right there to protect our life. And then we're going to swing for 3. Seriously, Persona 3, uh, 5 on Royal... Like, uh, Persona 5 on PC is going to be really fun. Especially some of the things that Desmond's been mentioning. Uh, looking forward to it myself, actually. Definitely looking forward to it myself. Um, because, again, it's just another way to play Persona. Uh, I mean, we can go Cockroach. We can't summon that just yet. We'll draw. Ah, uh, the dude with double tap. Um, I could technically go... I mean, I could... Yeah, I don't really like this. So we can... Oh, shit, I hit the rock. No, oh, it's whatever, it's whatever. Um, though it does... 
put us in victory. Otherwise, I could have just used these two, but we're using two for the price of one, so this is not too bad. Uh, let's see. One empty space would be struck. We'll be moving to that and receive the strike instead, so he won't be dead. Just yet. Um. Yeah, I guess we gotta use him anyway. Not what I wanted to do. This just seems like a lot of work, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna drop these to summon this. This will be a 1 3 doing 2, 1 and 1. We can also do some 3. So Mole is gonna die. And this thing will probably kill that thing, which is fine. It's whatever. Yeah, so Mill's gonna kill that, which is it is what it is. He's moving over to that direction, which is fine. He's gonna be able to do some damage, but not a whole lot. Uh, we have plenty of bones now, so we're gonna draw from the deck. Child number thirteen. Oh, that's not even that good right now. Like I don't even need that card right now. Can't believe they didn't drop Shadow one of them today. See, I mean, I would have loved to see that, but you know, it is what it is. I'll still be happy with what we get. You know, I I agree with you, ATM, but I'm still just happy to see it. Cockroach is pretty good. Um, yeah, I guess we could drop Cockroach. Just do some more damage. Uh, when a cop, when this card perishes, so I could even sacrifice it for Child Thirteen, but it doesn't do anything right now. So I guess we're just gonna start swinging for some damage. Uh, I mean, I guess it kind of like helps with uh, what is it? Persona's like you know thirteen or twenty fifth anniversary I have a little bit more merit now, which is good. Um, damn, they have an elk. Oh, this moose buck is too strong. That is not good. Um, draw. B. Uh, that's actually not too bad. Uh, sacrifice a cockroach. Oh, I have to sacrifice two. Fuck. That's not good. Um, I mean, I guess I could do this. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I get it now. Wait, what? How oh, weird, weird. Um, we can then sacrifice these. The child 13 is like, yo, I'm still here, which is cool. Um, makes it a 2 3, which isn't too bad. Um, I didn't know it actually changed form like that. Put the put that there. We have three, so not enough to summon them again, but it is still fine. Not good. C6 will help you into October during the concert. That would be great. Have they had a history of actually releasing the Persona games like during those concerts? Because like for those who have not noticed, like the P Persona Bomb concerts are amazing. There is such a great watch. Um, I would feel like if you haven't checked any of them, definitely go check them out. We have budget Gex. Thank the thank goodness. Uh, I guess we could take out Elk so we don't. Die? Well, I mean, we're actually doing pretty decent right now. So we're going to summon Cockroach. And then we're going to swing. They're really, really good. Definitely go check them out. They are a blast to watch for sure. Unfortunately, Mole's going to get in the front of Budget Gex. Um, even Budget Gex still can't take out Moosebuck. That's insane. We're going to draw a squirrel, throw it here, and then swing. Budget Gex can now take out Moosebuck next turn, which is good. Which might be what we have to do. Uh, we're going to draw for a card. Reginald is good because he has Death Touch. And that's amazing because we can take out his two power plays right here. So we're going to do that. Three or four last concerts will have big announcements. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I'm like trying to remember like the ones that I remember seeing if they did any special announcements. Either way, dude. I feel like they're definitely going to probably announce at least something, you know? Uh, we could do five, so we are good here. I'm just looking forward to it, man, for the new Persona content. And also, again, just, like, playing Persona 3 Portable on the Vita was good. But honestly, just, like, uh, <laughs> playing it on, like, you know, like, a modern console is going to be kind of nice, too. All right, so draw. Not game announcements. So we'll see. We'll see. You never know what out. You never know with Atlas from the scenes of it. Um, <laughs> right? So we're going to go for the finishing touch on that one. I know he was also dropping something for us, but I was like, nah, we're just going to go for it. Meat pants are the finest. Uh, do you have a gold pelt? You do. Give me the gold pelt. Uh, we have three, but that's pretty much it. We're just going to take the gold pelt and we're just run. Because, uh, like, if we can actually, you know, utilize the gold pelt, it's actually really good. Uh, 
a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squint and see a figure through a thick and cloud of spores. I've never actually met this person yet. We are the mycologists, yes. Yes. And we are performing our experiments far from, from... Yo, bingo, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. Uh, my voice is still more or less the same, but, you know, we're just making it through the day. I hope your morning is going well so far. We are not <laughs> welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes? We will need two of the same creatures. One for each of us. Um... Is it worth giving up creatures to do this, or... Because I've never come across this creature, or this, you know, thing at all. Doing good things. Glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. Yes, it's worth it. Yo, is it worth... It? So, follow-up question, Dustin. Is it worth it for me, or is it worth it for everybody to watch this on stream? Either way, let's take a look. So, we only have rabbit pelts of the same. Let's see what actually happens. Does it become, like, a live rabbit or something? The rabbit pelt is now one? Oh, too late, Dustin. Too late, man. I mean, we had fun. We had fun. That's fine. My rabbit pelt became a rabbit pelt. Got him. Got him. Uh, we can go for some blood casting stuff over here. Or we can actually go for that. We'll just go this way. Our deck is not that optimal right now. I think we need to get a little better stuff anyway. We have budget gex. Oh, what am I doing? We are so good. We have budget gex. Uh, we also have Rabbit Pelt. Gotta love it. Uh, we can drop Squirrel. Child 13. This is a 0 3, so I guess we could throw it right here. Because it's not gonna really do anything else. Then we're gonna drop that and we'll start swinging. So I think budget get. Or we can actually take the win next turn anyway. Nah, because that thing got out of the way now. Um, that's fine. I'm tempted. Can we draw like a one costing creature? Yes, we did. Let's go. That is actually really good. Uh, we can do, we can take this out. This thing will be taken out. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I really should have thrown stat over there, but it's fine. It's fine. That was actually a pretty good rip. And we get the win. Let's freaking go. Uh, we're gonna go for the wolf. Let's see what we actually get up here. Let's see, so we have elk. Uh, I'm assuming that's a bug or something. Oh, another cockroach. Uh, I meant to hit right click, but you know, that's okay. Uh, we got a second cockroach. I'm not sure if that's good. Uh, if we get some more bones, it'd be great. Uh, let's see, I don't think we, we don't have anything else really in our hand. So we're gonna grab, we'll grab this because it's also kind of nice just to go for it and like go for the win. Unfortunately, these things kind of suck, so we're just going to go for this. Another squirrel's good, too, because we can just, like, really push for some heavy damage. Cockroach is usually always good. It seems pretty good as long as you can generate enough bones. And then you're gaming. Then you're gaming. Have you gone to uh, do goo yet? No. No. What does goo do? What, what, what do goo do? What does goo do? Uh, let's see. So I guess our only real option here is to summon... See, this is zero two. Yeah, we're gonna go for this one. The green item slime. It, it, like the description said, it didn't do anything, so I kind of like held off onto it because I'm, I'm scared, man. I am very scared. Uh, let's see. We have one. We have two squirrels. So we're gonna draw from the deck. We have Reginald, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a three. So we'll kill this. We could drop a squirrel and play pronghorn, but unfortunately we're not in a good position. If I really was smart, I would have put him here or something, because then I can have him attack adjacently, but I guess not. Um, this thing is going to transform anyway. Can't summon Reginald just yet. I've noticed we're not getting any piggy bank cards. Why is that? Why is that? Um... I guess what we could do we can play no it's fine so that's a 2-3 that's not going to be good <clears throat> so we definitely got to take out Raven for sure so at this point uh, 
we will just go with this. Alpha? Not bad. Alpha's actually pretty good because it can turn our uh, tree thing into an actual usable force. But we can also attack for four, which is not really enough for winning. But it does prevent us from taking from losing, so I guess it's kind of cool, I guess, you know, kind of cool. Uh, Prolong only does one, two, so yeah, not that good. Um, we can't even take out this thing with that. So I suppose what we could do is we can drop Why is it a five now? That is interesting. I still understand this card's like mechanic because it's like all splattered over. Yeah, I, I don't get it. It's so weird. Uh, nonetheless, uh, we could swing for five and actually still be fine. So we're just going to do that. Oh, God. At least we have the tree in the way, thank goodness. So we are going to draw from the deck. Bullfrog is actually pretty good because it has like another you know, sneak ability. Uh, it's still only a two though, so I suppose we can swing over, kill that, so that's fine. Can I do three to this creature? I mean, no, not really. But I mean, what we could do is we could do squirrel here, sack the squirrel, use that. Uh, let's see, we can play a bull. Oh, we don't have a blood. Oh, actually, we do have a blood too. So sacrifice these two. Drop that, I guess. Uh, Reginald can now be someone we can do death touch on that. This will still be able to enough power to take that thing out. This will take, this thing will survive, but it's still a pronghorn as well. This will be destroyed. That all should be fine. Yes. The, that is gone too, which is good because we can actually drop out. No, we can't drop alpha. Uh, let's see, that thing is a 3-2. Uh, we will draw a squirrel, because we don't have any more squirrels in our hand now. Uh, we could drop an... Uh, I mean, we could do the bolt. Well, actually, 5, 6... No, yeah, 5, and then that's going to be enough for that. So we'll do that. There we go. Okay, uh, new cards! Yes, let's go! Moose bot. Oh, it's a three sacrifice. Oh, that's actually a pretty good card. The regal moose. Creatures of the wild make you way for it. I mean, it's actually pretty good. Whoa, great white looks pretty gnarly. The titanical great white. The master of the deep. And we also just have grizzly. Just grizzly. Uh, a card bearing is going to ba 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 ba. While submerged. Yeah, I mean, the submerging thing kind of sucks, but it's interesting. Very big boys. Very big boys, Dustin. Um... I mean, I kind of like Moose Buck because of how good it was last time. It's like very, it's a very good defensive card. But then again, um, I think we're just going to go with Grizz. Let's see. If I actually have it at the edge, though, let's kill it. We push in the same direction. Waterborne, can we go about? Yeah, again, that's the problem with, like, you know, the Waterborne thing. I found myself in a situation where you have to, like, be very strategic in where you play it because if you put it in a position where they can just drop a big creature. You're kind of done. You're kind of done for. We're not going to go to the spores thing because we don't really have a lot of like multiple creatures. So what's the point? Finally, the hoggy bank. That's good. Uh, we're going to go for the hoggy bank. Uh, we'll go for the goo next time, but we're going to go for... I guess we're going to get our wisdom teeth pulled. We'll just go with that one. Uh, boss number three. Finally, let's give it a shot. He hates the goo. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The goo is fine. It's just the goo is not right for me right now, dude. The trapper said hunch beside one of the traps slowly cracking it. He gingerly removed a mangled hair from the steel teeth, but the light, but left the trap unhinged. You shouldn't have come here. Oh, God. Floating knives? Uh, scary. Gee, oh, I hated this one. We got here before, and I really, really, really hated the, the traps. It's it's kind of busted. Uh, we'll oppose burying the sigil. Mighty leap. So we already know that. Because, like, they, they do something different, right? I forget what they actually do. 
273. Yeah, we've already done that one, Dust. We've already done that one. So we're good on that one. We've already done the 273. Um, geez, how do I want to progress? So I guess we could summon this. Summon child 13. Get some more bones. We could summon score. Summon Squirrel. I haven't fought this boss in like weeks. We don't. I don't think we really need to use the Golden Pelt right now. Sacrifice Child 13. So he becomes like his own creature. Yeah, when you defeat it, it lays down a trap. Which is kind of bad because sometimes you have to like sacrifice your stuff. But I suppose that's like where the pelt comes into play because we can just sacrifice the pelts. Um, which is nice. Uh, I, I suppose. I suppose. Um. We will draw... Yo, Deli, Dude, thank you for the tier one for 17 months. 16 months is how long it took for me to realize I can actually solve a Rubik's Cube. And realize how I've spent at least $80 subbing to you without gifteds. Maybe you're worth it to litter heart. Maybe, Deli, But I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Which means bean time. So let's grab a bean boozle beans. So this one could either be uh, dirty dishwater or birthday cake. I'm hoping for the birthday cake. How are you doing, Deli? Oh yeah, it is birthday cake. Let's freaking go. Let's go. We got birthday cake. Um, all right. Um, I'm confused. I don't understand either, man. I just play games on stream. Um, we'll go with the. Let's see. We have two of those. We also have the hoggy bank. We're gonna go with the card from the deck. Cockroach. Let's go. That's actually pretty good. Unfortunately, the wolf is gonna die. I can't get around that. Um, which sucks. But thank you for the thank you for it. I appreciate it, Daily. Thank you for the the good bean. Like it's good for bones for sure, but it just sucks for everything else. Wait, why didn't cockroach trigger? Cockroach should have triggered, right? Oh wait, no, 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 cockroach. Oh, now I know what Dustin means. Love you too, Daily. Now I know what you mean, Dustin. You you were smart. You were smart. He's a very smart guy. Uh, draw. Grizzly. Oh, that's not too bad either. Because Cockroach is good because it's going to keep dying. But, like, it'll keep replenished itself. How'd you get that 13 so good? Uh, we buffed it. I buffed it at the beginning of the round because I wanted to give it more health. Zero one one was kind of, you know, pretty easy to die to, like, combat. So I decided to make it a zero, uh, zero 03 instead, which is nice. Unfortunately, Child 13 is going to die, though. Um, we can throw a golden... No, we don't really need to throw a golden pelt down. Uh, or a wolf pelt, for that matter. So, Cockroach can attack into the trap. We don't have anything we can really play right now. We also have a Hoggy Bank, which is good, too. So, those two traps are gone. Cockroach comes back, which is good. And then it just goes to their turn. They do have a wolf. And we're almost dead. So, that's not good. Um, let's see, cockroach, wolf, grizzly. Oh, this is awful. I. Wolf is an air bound, so we're gonna go with the squirrel so I can just have it as a chump blocker. But those. Oh, God, that's not good. Oh, that is not good. That's not good. None of these have, like, flying, unfortunately. None of these have flying. And I don't think I have anything with enough power to take them out either. Um... Nah. So... You drop the cockroach. Swing, do one. No. I mean, technically, yeah, I could do that. Too many pelts. Too many pelts. We only have one flame, too. So I should do this at least once and I'll die. The pelts, I mean, these guys have flying, so that's not gonna, the pelts, I can't like have the pelts like magically fly upwards. Otherwise that probably would be my idea, but for now we'll, you know, like pull out one tooth to kind of survive, I guess. Um, 
Pembroke is fine. So how many do we, we don't have enough for that, so. Yeah, pelts don't have flying. They block flyers. Do pelts actually block flyers? I don't know how that works. Uh, let's see. We're kind of screwed either way. Uh, we'll just take a gamble. Give me Gex. Holy shit, we actually got a bunch of Gex. Oh, yo, 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 yo. We actually are not done yet, boys. We are good. Heart of the cards. Let's freaking go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's go, Gex. Uh, cockroach, 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 da -da 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 -bow. Uh, golden pelt in front of the, the wolf boy. Drop him to take out that one. Uh, we good. We good. We are not done yet. Budget Gex for the win. Oh, shit. Adler's coming over. But Budget Gex is sentenced to Super Saiyan status. Uh, Grizzly's actually not too bad either. Uh, da -ba 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 -ba. I mean, we can kill him before Budget Gex dies. So we game it. We game it. Draw a squirrel. Pelts don't have. Oh yeah, you're right. I probably could have done that, Deli. You are. You are right. You're right. You're right. Uh, pull out another teeth, so I can put it to five. Uh, to neutral, so we can do five. So do that. My mind is breaking. Sorry, Deli. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Let's trade. Trade what? I don't think I've gotten this far yet. Oh my god! Uh, powerful guards, I'll accept only the finest pelts for them. Oh my god, I wish I had more pelts in my hand. I was gonna tell him you savage. <laughs> um, wow, so we get to trade cards for pelts? Interesting. Can I choose any one of them? Trade for what you want, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. I guess it makes sense what they did the first time, so I... The coyote's actually not too bad, so... Four, two, those. Let's see. That is actually pretty good. We're going to take one of those. Deli makes a good point on that one. We also can summon him too if he doesn't get rid of our entire board. Um, Adler. Oh, that sucks. I don't want him to get rid of Adler. Or Budget Gex, so give me that. We still have two more pelts, so that's good. Um, I'm going to... We're going to take this, and I don't, want, I don't want him to deal with that. We're also going to take... take one more thing I'm gonna take the vulture because I sh yeah we'll take vulture because I can probably summon it soon and just get a 3-3 on flying because we also have the hoggy bing too so let's see We're gonna go with the squirrel. Cause this thing summons whenever it's perish, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, so Adler, let's see, he just basically jumps into it, which is nice. The Great White is a four, which kind of is nice. We could drop it, it's a two, four, two, yeah. yeah it's... See, so budget Gex is right there. We just need to deal five. If I could drop anything with flying, we're pretty much good. We don't even have that, so that's great. Uh, but it doesn't really matter too much, because if I could do... Yeah, I mean, we can still do this. We could drop a squirrel. Let's see, my opposing place of hard moves that empty space. Okay, so we will drop another squirrel. We'll then summon a great white. I think this should work. Yeah, so... Swing? Yeah, that works. What's Then some, let's go. I guess that makes more sense, because like when we first got to this dude, he just dropped the entire board, and we were just left to die. And then the second time we got to him, he's like, oh, dude, you have some pelts? Yo, take my shit. I'm like, yo, let's, let's go, let's go. GG. You figured it out. Let's go. Uh, Mantis God. 
The Holy Mantis Guide, a perfect incarnation of terror. He looks terrifying. Pack wrap. Uh, what is pack? Oh, shit. It's a multi strike. Yes. I actually kind of like that. Because, like, it. Even if, like, we don't, like, summon him, we sacrifice him, we get, like, imagine having, like, a one costing 7-7 seven, seven that attacks three times. Like, it's so good. With the automatic traitor and trappler now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. You could see the light in the distance. The end is near. So good. Let's go. All hail Mantis God. He's, he is good. Let me think. Oh, yo, is this actually the house? Oh, wow. This seems like stuff's about to get heavy. Um, I'm gonna go here. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. Uh, Hoggy Bank, sure. Squirrel. You can't tell me otherwise. Sounds very close-minded, Deli. It's a warm beacon of light in the opposite direction of the darkness. Surely. Surely this cabin marked the end of your travels. But no, it's a really great card. It's a really, really great card. I agree with you. So do we get to meet the guy again? Is that how it works? Click. Click. What does it do? Is that, like, do you move forward? Oh, we gotta move forward. Got it. Jeez. Uh, steps away from the strange cabin. You were presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you're able to pass my trials, you'll be rewarded mighty. I mean, I would have figured it out eventually anyway, Deli. <laughs> the trial skins, the three drawn cards must include a pelt card. I think we, we have, like, one... We have one pelt in our deck. That's very rough. The Trial of the Winged. Three drawns must include... Oh, that's that's going to be easy. That's probably going to be the one. Uh, I, I'm thinking this one is going to be your best bet. Uh, we have like one pelt. But we have multiple with flying. I think we have like one or two with airborne. So we're going to go with flying. Fuck! Uh, I mean, I would have I would have lost everyone. So it's uh, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Damn it. Damn it. So let's just keep going on forward. Let's go forward. <laughs> I literally heard your walk from across the house. I mean, dude, would you expect any other way? Would you expect any other way not to hear it? Like, it, it projects. Uh, do we still get a card? Oh, wait. The trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. Um, I mean, I have a ring in my, you know, thing, but... Uh, the Trial of the Swift, the three draw cards must include it with the Sprinter Sigil. Uh, the Trial of Rarity must include a rare... What is a... How do you determine a rare card? Like Mantis God? Is Mantis God a rare card? Uh, I'm assuming... Um... You know what, Nelly? I'll, 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 I'll give it to you and Dustin. I'll give it to you and Dustin. Let's go with Rarity. Child 13, Cockroach, and the Wolf. Child 13 is a rare card! First try, baby! Let's go. Is it a Mythic? Or is it like an uncommon? Let's go. So what do I get? I'll grant you one of my most powerful boons. Uh, cards that are dramatically altered the game. You don't even need to draw them. For real? For real? I can't. I, my voice, it's sag. The boon of the ambidextrous. You'll draw twice at the beginning of your turn. How it goes to run ATM. It's going great. We just made it to the cabin. We just made it to the cabin. I don't know what the that means, but we made it, boy. Uh, that's actually really good. The Boon of the Bone Lord. You will start a battle with eight. That's actually pretty good. The Boon of the Meg Batsai. When you draw a card from your deck, you may choose any card from your deck to draw. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Those are some really good cards. Um. It's a pretty much demonic tutor. Uh, do I do I go with demonic tutor or do we go with pot of greed each turn? Um, oh. <laughs> pot of greed. I mean, what opportunity do we actually get pot of greed for? I'm gonna go with pot of greed. Let's just demonic tutor is really good. Don't get me wrong, but I want pot of greed. Give me card advantage, baby. I want that. 
my god, this dude is terrifying. You managed to get a boon. This may be a fair competition. You think so? Hopefully we can do it. Hopefully we can do it. I'm hoping we can do it. Oh, eyes. <laughs> to be honest, that's kind of what I expected him to look like. I'm not even really kidding. You took your time out there, and I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? Oh, dude, you look... Is this another boss fight? I hope you are adequately, re adequately prepared. Uh, not in hell, dude. Not in hell. Mr. Grassy Boy. Very Grassy Boy, indeed. Perhaps one more to... Dude, that's cheating! That's cheating. You can't have three. Cat pill, perfect. Yo, welcome. It's great to see you. Hope you're doing well. It's been a little bit. How is life treating you? We're playing against a cheater because he actually has three candles to our one. He also has the all-powerful Mantis God. We might as well just scoop right now and just give up. Uh, I mean, I could summon my own Mantis God. He does, like, you know, three, ba 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 which is good. Um, how do we, how do we do? So, we're gonna do this. We're gonna summon Squirrel. We're gonna sacrifice Squirrel for... Save your Mantis God, I'd say. Uh, I don't know if I should follow that advice, Deli. Sorry, I just came back for the description. No, it's fine, Cadzilla. It's totally fine. Life has been very stressful. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope I hope things get better for you. Anything I can do to help? Um, I mean, Deli might be right saying to save my Mantis God, but... Yeah, I don't want to listen. I don't want to listen to Deli right now. Not right now, anyway. So, we're going to swing for quite a bit of damage. I love watching people play card games. It can be pretty funny. It can be pretty funny. It can be pretty funny. That was not the good play. That was not a good play. Doing better now. That's I'm glad to hear that. That's that's definitely important. I'm glad to hear you're doing better now. Wait, what was that card? Why did I only draw one card? Oh, I get to draw another one. That's so, that's so cool. It gives you the option of choosing. Cause like you could choose like which one you draw into. Oh man, a rabbit pal has seen better days. Is this like a is this like a terminate legal card? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, we could draw. Um. We have another squirrel. We have child 13 still, and he also still has, like, the ability there, which is nice. So I guess we can afford drawing another card. Corpse, maggots, and cockroach. That's actually pretty solid. And this card is a uh, copy of Creed. Well, that is actually pretty solid, so I'm actually okay with that. Um, unfortunately, I was hoping to draw, like, a sacrificing creature so I could just make more child 13 thingies. Like, this thing is pretty cool. Um, Mantis God is still chilling. I can always go with one a card of this and perishing a copy screen in your hand, but when Crobus Magnets dies, it creates it summons itself, which is nice. So we're gonna go. We'll use one of these thingies. So we're gonna drop maggots. Play this. He doesn't know. Oh, he has another mantis god! Oh, I should have checked that out first, but that's fine. Uh swing. Kill him. And the Mantis God, let's go. Rude. So rude! Anyway. <laughs> oh, Deli. You're right, I was wrong. Please take me back, baby. <laughs> um, I'm hurt. Draw a squirrel. And then I guess we could... I mean, you know, they're gold nuggets. They're, they're gold nuggets. They protect us. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that so sucks. Uh, okay, so I will draw one of these guys. A wolf! Not bad, not bad. Uh, I mean, I can always... No, I can't even sacrifice those because, uh, you know, like, life hates us. Uh, oh... Cockroach, I came and summon you because we need more bones. I don't want to waste all my bones. Oh, I got some of the smoke. Yeah, I guess I could do that. And that'll actually generate more of those, which is kind of cool. So drop that. Uh, I guess we could drop the rabbit pelt too, because the you know he's gonna be coming at us as well. Snap <laughs> smoke, CJ. Uh, when a card like this is perishing, a copy of screen in your hand. There's no point not, because they'll just be like, no, well. Yeah, we have enough bones. We're fine. I don't think we have any more than four costing bones, so we're fine. Uh, we'll swing for some damage. 
I'll stay here, cheers. Oh, yo, dude, dude, take my gold, take my gold. Take my gold, take my gold. Oh, that's not cool. Uh, I'll take one squirrel and one card from the deck. We drew into Grizzly, dead card, because we came and play the boy. Um, we have, we have a pelt, we have a pelt. Uh, we will drop said pelt. Mm, fresh juice. Um, that's gonna push Algamim to the back, right? I think so. Swing. Kill the Mantis guy. Yes, it does, and that's actually not too bad. That is not too bad, actually. Kind of sucks that we still have to deal with, like, you know, the, um, the gold, but I mean, it's still there for practice, I guess. Cockroach in the hand now, so that's pretty nice. Uh, we can at least still do this to kind of like level the playing field, so I guess we're gonna go with that. I'm kind of hesitant to play more cards because I have no idea what he's gonna keep doing. Oh, that's an Egyptian god card. Maybe I should save like the hook for this fight. Seriously, I should probably start doing that. So we're gonna draw to another squirrel and another card up here. Not bad. Is that flying? It does not. Nothing has flying. Uh, I mean, we can drop... What happens when we just go for the win? So we're not going to play any cards. We're just going to go for the first win. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. I'm sorry. I had to do it. <laughs> I had to get that joke from the trunk. But the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes, a glimmered recognition of kinship. But guilt. They were betraying you. Oh no! Wiggles! And Reginald are tra tra like traitors? Are we playing Among Us now? I remember that one fondly. Um, that is not good. Uh, I mean, they're back there. They're not moving. Besides Wiggles. Wiggles is going to be moving for days, but Gold Nugget is going to protect us from a little bit. Uh, we're going to draw from here first. Bullfrog has flying. That's good. Uh, so I guess we could drop Squirrel. Oh, we need to draw one more card, so we're gonna draw this card. Alpha. Alpha's pretty good because it turns our gold nuggets into actually potential threats. Not the best threats, but the threats. Uh, we will drop... Where's Bullfrog? Bullfrog, Stinky Bullfrog. Yes, we're gonna drop him. Among Us. So Reginald is gonna come through, take out Wolf, which is not good. Swing. Is that where the two different death cards when you start? Yes, they were. I don't know why we named them Wiggles, but we decided to go with Wiggles. Trade for what you can, but this me. The rest will stay and fight for me. Trade for what you can, but the rest will fight for me. Uh, this looks pretty gnarly. I kind of want this. So how do we trade? Do we just like give him the cards we want? Oh, he took a pelt. But we did get a pretty decent card, I think, for now. We are taking some damage, though. We only have... We have no lights, right? Oh, we totally screwed that up because I was so glorified by the power. We could have taken Wiggles. Oh, or even Reginald. Reginald's been great. I am so bad at this game. Um, okay. Uh, we have opportunity to draw more. How many squirrels do we have? We have one, two... We also have a lot of bones, so we should be okay just to draw from the deck. He ain't bad. He ain't bad. Gold pelt. That's not terrible. So I can make the... No, that's not going to work too much. So we need three... Well, actually, three or two to take out wiggles for sure. Um, This has double strike, which is nice. Oh, we got to sacrifice something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Squirrel. No, that's not going to be enough. Because I'll be able to do this and this, but this has flying. Actually, I don't know if this will be enough. Because I still don't understand the mechanics of this thing. It has eight. Damn, that's impressive. Um, So this will kill this, kill that. This will kill this next turn anyway, which is going to happen regardless of if it's in front, because it's going to be doing damage. And three damage, we die. So we got to get rid of squiggles. How many runs has it been? Uh, this is my third. This is my fourth or fifth run, I believe. Can we tell you what the mechanic is? Yes, I would love that, Dustin. I would love that, my dude. 
Uh, we have plenty of bones to summon, too. Cockroach is not strong enough. Neither is... I mean, Alpha... Alpha wouldn't be able to kill it, but it can definitely do... Well, I could summon a... I could summon Squirrel. Yeah, we could summon Squirrel. And then Stout. Is it how many cards we play? Because, like, I noticed that... When we played two cards, the lost two, which is still pretty good. Um, I think we're good. So we attack. This dies. This dies. This comes forward. It does one. This has uh, Stinky, which protects us. Um, Reginald is going to kill him, which is unforgettable. Power kills the cards. Oh, it's Sight for the Sky Dragon. Dude, that's actually... That's actually really solid, considering we draw two cards per turn. Dustin, I appreciate you, my guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, he can take out him. He'll take out him. He'll take out that. He'll take out this. This will come down. This will protect us with Stinky. So we should be good just to start start attacking. Oh, that's even better than I thought. They have my copy of a great card. That is not good. Uh, but we could still do quite a bit of damage anyway, so we can balance the tide in our favor. So we'll draw one of each. So we're gonna draw a squirrel. Yeah, we'll draw a squirrel and another one. The be damn, it's a beaver. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Reginald, let's see. So this one we can do quite a bit. You are so close, but will we make it? That's what I'm hoping for. He's not gonna realize. What is he not gonna realize? Probably not. Let's see. I can hit two, three. I can kill Reginald with something diff. Could summon. I mean, technically, we could summon that. <laughs> You're right, I don't realize. Um. Oh! It's because of that? We have another god. We have another one of those? No, that can't be it. That can't be it. Um, I actually want to hold on to that, if anything, because I might be able to use it for, like, just clocking him out. Um, I'm going to... We could drop Squirrel. I need to do one, two, three, four. I need to do, like, six, right? Cockroach. Let's see. Car, I'm going to discard on a car bearish and then put a copy in your hand. That's not too bad. We have plenty of bones. So we're going to drop that. I don't like how many copies we have to sacrifice. Alpha is a decent play to say here. Oh, yeah, you're right. That would be pretty decent because we could just start doing some damage. Uh, yeah, actually, that would have been good. <laughs> that would have been good. You're right. I forgot about Alpha because like his like plus one plus on one everything. Yo, say teacher, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I mean, at least I won't die because, you know, oh, wait, that has flying shit. Oh, that is not good. We'll take seven. I mean, we won't die. But I much to watch the struggle. Dude, you gotta watch the struggle. The struggle is great, isn't it? It's it's the best. It is so good. Um, two. Let's see. So I don't want to... One, two. So I'm going to be doing three. So yeah, I don't want to... I can't believe we're wasting bones, but we have a ton anyway. We also have a like a the jar thing, so we're gonna do that. So we're gonna do that. Oh, we were one short! We were one short! <laughs> oh, my math was wrong. That's okay. That is so bad. That is so bad. All right, that's fine. Um, I mean, I could always drop the god card and just win. Well, not win, but do enough. So we need to draw. We drew Reginald ourselves, which is nice. We drew a squirrel. So one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can deal seven. Oh God, the great card is pretty bad for us right now. Uh, let's see. 
Every time I click on the description, see my prayer for some epic misplays. Yo, welcome to the king of misplays. Delhi is not wrong. Delhi is not wrong. Can we actually get rid of our gold? No, we can't. Um, he doesn't deal damage, so we can kind of. Let's see. We can do. Blah, 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 blah. We could drop Reginald. So I guess what I can do is we can. Do that. Puts us at six. Mm. Squirrel, not bad. Puts us at seven. Fair with the actually that's actually not too bad. <laughs> so that's gonna be taking so the the claw comes forward, right? But the sword throw No, actually not. Like I used to have like no problem talking this much on stream and even working a job where I would speak eight hours a day. It might just be a viral infection or something like laryngitis or something, it's hard to say. Mole man's not Mole Man's actually pretty good. Squirrel. Mole Man's not too bad because he can block. And also when he attack or when it goes to his turn, he'll get the gold pelt and push a great card into the back. So that's not too bad. He's got the run. Dude, it'd be my third try, a third time of getting the run if that was actually the case. It'd be my third route with the run. Uh we will drop. We're just gonna drop squirrel. Oh, I just totally... F yeah, you were right, Nelly. Um, totally right. Ooh, I think that actually kills us. I think that totally kills us now, actually. <laughs> uh, can, can I hit, like, Control-Z and undo my move? No? No? Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. Um... I'm not, no, there's, like, no, I don't think there's anything I can really do. Well, actually, no, because if I do... No, I'm dead because of these guys coming in the front. Well, actually... Fuck it. Well, let's just do it. It's so bad. We were so close, too. I shouldn't have done anything. I shouldn't have done anything. <laughs> oh, man. I shouldn't have done anything. I shouldn't have done anything. All right, draw. We got double attacker. What else do we have in our deck? Budget Gex. Um, what really screwed us over is like the... I shouldn't have just done anything. It was only going to hook the best and you're like, nah. Seriously, I forgot the hook goes for like the card you recently like, played last. Damn, I can't believe myself and being my own undoing. It's fine. Because like if we actually finish the game like here and then, I probably would stop streaming it. But this is actually a lot of fun streaming it. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Um, yeah, there's no way we can win. If we had, like, scissors or something, that'd be amazing, but we don't. We're fucked. So, I mean... If only we can get rid of the stupid gold nugget, but we can't. Mmm. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do. I mean, I can go out with a bang, but that's pretty much it. And even then, like, not really, because there's so much gold shit in the way. Um... Yeah, nothing really, nothing really. Mighty all 160 feet. No, it's fine. Uh, no, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do, unfortunately. Just like, even, because like the fact that a great card just has like, you know, flying, it's just so good. They even have a copy of our budget Gex. So it's all good. GG. I mean, honestly, now that I know what to expect, I don't think it'll be that hard to go for another run. Like, now that I know what to expect, as long as I remember it, we're good. No saving this run. Yeah, no, no saving this run. But 
the most important thing is I now know for the next run. That's all that matters. That's that's the best thing about this game. Like you just keep learning, right? B or B. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that it's lagging. Is anybody else lagging, or is my 720p face still good? Yeah, we get a death card. Uh, please choose a card to pay for its cost. Uh, rabbit pelt zero. That's pretty good. You're fine, Dustin. Choose a power and health. Uh, God, this is pretty bad. I mean, if it was ability, we could use the Mantis God, but this is pretty bad. Corpse of Maggots. One, two. Um. Oh, a card bearing this will perish a cop when the car. That's pretty good. The perishing is really nice because it's basically like a free cockroach every turn. Let's go with that. We're going to go with that one. That's pretty good. Um, we'll just name it The Hook Sucks. <laughs> the Hook Sucks. That's Because that's what got us. If I just did nothing, we would have been fine. But then again, who knows? Who knows? Um, I definitely am going to do my best to save The Hook for the ending of it. Because if I could yeet some of the shit they had, that'd be amazing. Like, it'd be easy. So close, that one. The poison on that, that'd be perfect, right? I dealt you make it this far. No, 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 we're gonna do it. You're pitiful, oh, this deck is great. We got the three, we got the two boys. It's so good, it's so good. Yeah, it's fine. We had a good run. We had a good run. Um, th That's it for me though, that's it for me. I'm gonna go in the corner and cry a little bit. We are gonna also see who is streaming right now. And just, you know, give them a raid. Surprising we got the third boy yet. It's probably like one of the puzzle things, right? Which I haven't really done. So I'll need to do that shortly afterwards. But, yo, I appreciate everybody, you know, being part of the stream. And also, you know, giving tips and also cheeky comments. Appreciate you all. Let's see who is currently streaming. It isn't a puzzle. I'll probably do that, like, next stream or just off stream or something. Uh, nonetheless, though, um... Good, good stuff. Good, good stuff. Um, now knowing more of what to expect, I'm pretty confident we can get to the next stream easy. Um, and it'll pretty much only take us about like eight hours to get to it. That's like the end of it, and we're golden. We are good. So I'm looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to it. The best misplay here. Title maker misplays Deli. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's let's read Michael eighty seven. He's actually streaming something that's not uh, football manager, which is cool. We're gonna go see what he's doing. Let's go say hello to Michael87, which is good. Good night, everyone. You as well, Raptor. I appreciate you. Deli, also, thank you for the tier uh, the tier one for 17 months. Uh, 16 is a lie. It's 17, apparently. That's factually correct. Uh, good night as well to you, Catzilla. I appreciate you. Again, the next stream is going to be on probably Tuesday. Uh, I'm expecting that we're going to be able to finish off uh, Spider-Man Remastered PS5. It's going to be cool. It's going to be nice. Uh, all that good stuff. Everybody have a great rest of your night. See you soon, and I appreciate you all.